Hi. Welcome to the plant of Pharmac Pharmaceutical Company. Have you been here before? Great. Let me show you around. But first of all, take these augmented reality glasses. They will help you see lots of additional info and get into places which only our specialists can enter. Give it a try. Where are the glasses? Impressing? Believe me, we have everything here at a state-of-the-art level. Pharmac is a leading manufacturer of medicines in Ukraine. We manufacture over 400 well-known medicinal products. And every year we launch 20 more products. Among the main pharmaceutical categories are endocrinological, gastroenterological, cardiac, neurological, anti-cold, and other medicines. We always strive forward because we have an important mission to preserve the people's health. That's why we reinvest 90% of income in the company development every year. Today we are going to visit our aseptic workshop. Sterile injectables in ampules and vials are manufactured there. This is where raw materials and containers are first delivered from outside to our workshop. Our operator scans a barcode and confirms that the raw materials and supplies that have been fully inspected by the quality department are received. Then the operator processes the materials puts them onto a clean pallet and moves them to the warehouses using the elevator. And we are going to change our clothes. Alt is here where everything starts for a workshop worker. A worker gets to the production facilities through the gowning room. Here, she, he takes off his, her outer clothes, puts on a changeable lab coat, shoes, washes his, her hands, and goes to the next gowning room. As we are going to follow the process today, we will also change gowns accordingly. So take off your outer clothes, put on changeable shoes, and a transitional lab coat. Workers' garments are washed and sterilized according to corresponding cleanliness grades. There are disposable garments, which are disposed immediately after use, and there are reusable garments. This assures maximum cleanliness level that is very important at the pharmaceutical production. So, let's carry out the gowning. Let's start the work. Having picked up the necessary quantities of raw materials and ampules in the warehouse, the operator delivers them into the production. One of the most important requirements of the good manufacturing practices, GMP, is that people and materials should flow in different routes and not cross each other. This is to avoid any minimum possible risks of contamination. This means that the raw materials are delivered to the weighing unit by one route and the operator who will handle them will go by a different route. And we are going to do it the same way. To move from the warehouse into grade D, which is the destination for the raw materials forwarded by the operator, we must do the gowning, observing the rules for the corresponding area. One more disposable cap, underwear, blue top and bottom, blue slippers. We are now in cleanliness grade D. In our production facility, this grade is a transient area between different cleanliness grades. These windows cannot be opened. All this is required not to compromise the environmental conditions inside the rooms. 
The cleanliness grade D operator collects the raw materials delivered by the gray area L operator from this pass box. You already know that all this is done for the operators working in different production areas not to cross each other. Then the raw materials are transferred into another airlock for disinfection and further collected by the operator working in the weighing unit. This is a higher cleanliness grade, C. Later, the operator comes back to the personnel airlock and performs the grade C gowning procedure. Yes, you got it right. We are changing our clothes again. Now we are in the cleanliness grade C unit. Here, the raw materials are weighed for a medicine. Amounts and volumes to be dispensed can be absolutely different, from 2 grams to 600 kilograms. For this purpose, we have containers of different sizes. And the total weight of the components per batch can be more than 1,600 kilograms. Have a look. In this isolator, we weigh the highly potent active pharmaceutical ingredient. The isolator protects the operator from contact with the active ingredient and the ingredient from exposure to the environment, exactly as in a drugstore. A special container is attached at the isolator bottom for the operator to place the dispensed ingredient. The weight raw materials are placed in the airlock for transfer to the medicine solution formulation stage. Each room is equipped with electronic climate control lockers. It is an essential part of the pharmaceutical production. Air temperature, differential pressure between rooms, and humidity are monitored according to the good manufacturing practices. We seem to have explored the weighing process. As you could notice, the airlock doors are fitted with such light indicators. You will not be able to get into the airlock until a green indicator is lit. The green color means that air pressure is normal inside the room, so you can enter. Then, our technology and engineering expert, Ms. Lubov Dotsova, will accompany you. She will tell you about the medicine production process and operation of tanks. And I'll leave on business. See you soon. Hello, please follow me. Our aseptic workshop with its process equipment and solutions is unparalleled in Ukraine. You can see a tank made by the Italian manufacturer Techninox, where a medicine is formulated. We have 10 of them in our workshop. Their capacity allows concomitant formulation of up to 2,000 liters of the medicine that makes 100,000 to 2 million doses. The technologies implemented in the workshop allow production of 50 types of products, solutions, suspensions, emulsions. The operator activates the recipe on the control panel. The system instructs what to do. The operator only monitors the equipment operation and confirms the sequence of recipe steps. Before powdery or liquid substances can be delivered into the tank, 10 components are usually used. Water for injection must have been already filled into the tank. Water for this purpose is supplied by special pipelines. The tanks are fitted with electronic weighing elements, and the amount of water required by the recipe is automatically collected. How do we produce water for injection? Tap water undergoes multi-stage purification in the pre-filter and fine filter system. Then it undergoes water softening, ultrafiltration, two-stage reverse osmosis, and deionization. After that, distillation in the energy-efficient seven-column distiller. There are raw materials packed in large containers, the so-called bins, 200, 300 kilograms. Using a lift column, such bins are placed over the blender, and through a pump system, raw materials are washed out with water for injection from the blender hopper and supplied back into the tank. The active ingredient is loaded with a system of special valves. A valve on the container is connected to the tank valve. After rotation by 90 degrees, the active ingredient is transferred into the tank. And this is a high-pressure homogenizer. Just imagine this device operating under a pressure up to 1.5 thousand atmosphere allows production of a uniform emulsion from two immiscible phases, water and oil, at several stages. This is a really impressive process.
And here, the formulated solution undergoes two-stage filtration. The first filter has a pore size of one micron, and it fully removes all particulate inclusions. The second 0.22 micron filter fully retains all microorganisms, giving a sterile product. Once filtered, the product is fed into the buffer tank. A sample is taken from the buffer tank without the operator's contact with the solution and transferred to the quality control laboratory for testing. Exposed shutoff valves and equipment are minimized in our facilities because this necessitates additional daily treatment and disinfection. All utility equipment is in the technical area. It includes heat exchangers, pumps, valves, other instrumentation. Our guide will continue telling you about it. She is waiting for you already. Without further ado, let's go, and I'll show you an impressive number of pipes. But first, you know what to do. It would be impossible to do this all in such a narrow space without a 3D model. During designing, a virtual information model of this production block was created. Using over half a million of unique elements with high degree of detail, Air treatment is performed here, and here is a chilled water distribution unit for the medicine production lines and for ventilation. All this equipment ensures operation of 54 air handling units located along the perimeter. The air is treated at a flow of 300 cubic meters per hour. Just imagine, there are separate floors to maintain the proper climate throughout the production facilities. One part of the manufacturing process is equipment controlled, and the other is software controlled. Everything is controlled by smart IT systems monitored by Pharmax specialists. Let me introduce Vitaly. He is a supervisor of the aseptic workshop. Welcome to Pharmac. I can see from my workstation at what production stage the medicine manufacturing is. How many liters have been already delivered to the filling machine, and what amount remains in the tank? Such functionalities have been ensured by high digitization of production by Siemens, Sematic IT platform. Due to this, I can observe any production stage and quickly correct any fault. Thank you for the information, Vitaly. And we are going further to one more critical production process. Please, follow me. By the way, there are no WCs, dining area, or even water dispensers in the production facilities. The operator must leave the production area for meals. Note that there are 132 video surveillance cameras to monitor the processes in all units. Prior to ampule filling, ampules are rinsed with water for injection and then delivered into the sterilization tunnel. To dry and sterilize at 300 degrees, cool, and discharge to the highest cleanliness grade A, without any human access, even for our operators. When the conforming tests are reported by the Quality Control Laboratory, the solution is transferred to the high-speed filling machine. Let's come closer. Pay attention to the operator's garments. He looks like an astronaut. The main requirement is total absence of exposed body parts. We cannot enter the cleanliness grade B facilities. That's why you use your glasses. Click the temple arm. The operator also has special glasses. This way you will see what he sees without entering the room. Ampules are made of high-quality borosilicate glass. On the filling machine, ampules are purged with inert gas to completely displace oxygen, 
filled with a medicinal product, and again purged with inert gas. Then ampules are sealed. This assures air tightness. A special 2D coat is applied to sealed ampules. It's an additional protection against counterfeiting. Then they pass through the machine for inspecting the sealing. By the way, our ampule machine is the most efficient one in Ukraine. It was made by Bosch, Germany. Its capacity is 36,000 ampules per hour. The sealed ampules are packed in special trays, put into trolleys, and transported via the material airlock into the product sterilizer. The trays with ampules are transferred into the steam sterilizer. The sterilization process lasts at 121 Celsius degrees for at least 15 minutes. This assures absolute sterility of the product. And only then, the medicines are transferred to the packaging line. Prior to packaging, the products undergo an important stage, stringent visual inspection. If minimum defects are detected, the ampule is automatically rejected. This is a machine to form a plastic blister into which labeled ampules are packed. Then a carton is formed to pack the blister with ampules and patient information leaflet. The batch number, date of manufacture, and expiry date are printed on the carton. Case packaging is performed here. Then the finished products are dispatched to the warehouse. We are finished in the product warehouse. Well, the last change of clothes remained. The medicines having the quarantine status are placed here. During this period, full quality control of the finished medicine is performed and all batch documents are reviewed and verified here. The qualified person responsible for quality signs the certificate of quality. This means that the batch of the medicine has been manufactured according to all regulatory requirements of the good manufacturing practices and can be sold. You've probably lost count of how many quality control levels there are, but we have tens of them. All this is required to ensure the product is top quality for the consumer. Finished medicines are loaded into vehicles with refrigeration equipment. Then the driver sets the required temperature to be maintained during transportation. We are proud that the company's products are exported to over 30 EU member countries, countries of Central and South America, Middle East, Asia, and other countries. Dear friend, our today's trip throughout Pharmac has come to an end. Well, did you like it? We have a lot more of interesting things, so we'll be happy if you visit us next time. <clears throat> Remember to return the glasses. We'll still need them. Well, goodbye and keep well.